Most of the rain that we have seen today has arrived at the coast and Edie out in Wales had reports about six tenths of an inch of rain. She said she saw light steady rain throughout the day today. Medford also picked up 15 hundredths of an inch of rain today. So that's pretty good for our area. Oftentimes in the Rogue Valley we don't see as big of totals as areas at the coast. So We'll take it. Also in Siskiyou County, we saw quite a range. Anything from nothing in Dunsmuir and Weed to almost a tenth of an inch in Montague as well as in Happy Camp. Grants Pass about a tenth of an inch and across the board about anywhere from a tenth to a quarter of an inch in the Illinois Valley today. Now as we head into the overnight hours, we're going to continue to see rain, though as we head into the next several hours, it will start to taper off and just expecting to see showers into the overnight hours. But it is raining on all of our reporting stations in Brookings, Medford, and in Klamath Falls. And through the day tomorrow, best chance for rain to continue, and it will be lighter, so we'll call it showers, will be at the coast and in the Cascades. We'll also bring in a slight chance for isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon at the coast. Inland areas, for the most part, it's going to be a lot drier tomorrow. Medford expecting to see a few showers, most of those in the morning hours. In Siskiyou County, expecting only showers in the morning, very light, very isolated, and you'll actually see some sunshine by the end of the day. So here's a look at where the cold front is right now. You can see as it goes through, here's the line of the cold front. So the heaviest rain is out ahead of that front. Behind it, we'll continue to see a few showers, but they will be easing up. Most of the rain is in Klamath and in East Siskiyou County at this time, as that's basically where the cold front is as well. Now that cold front will continue to push inland as we head into the overnight hours and ahead of it or behind it, I should say, wind and rain will ease up but behind it also means colder air. And that does mean snow as we head into Friday night. So putting the stormcast into play, you can see those showers really starting to ease up. This is early tomorrow morning around 3.30, just expecting a few isolated showers. But watch on the cask in the Cascades. You can see shower activity continues. Then as we head into Friday night into Saturday, we will see mainly snow. But by Saturday afternoon, we start to dry out and we'll see a little bit more sunshine as well. But Friday night into Saturday, expect wintry travel over the higher passes. At the coast, expect to see a few showers through the day. Isolated showers only really in the morning hours from Northern California. And then we'll see partly cloudy skies by the afternoon. That goes for the basin as well. Most of your showers will be in the morning hours. Can't rule out a sprinkle or two in the afternoon, but it will be a lot drier on the east side as well as in Northern California. Whereas in the mountains, we will see snow levels drop to 4,500 feet by Saturday morning and expect the showers to continue for the Rogue Valley. A few isolated showers and breezy conditions as well. At the coast, another slight chance for isolated thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. Then we're drier into next week. Northern California, slight chance for a shower on Saturday. Much warmer into next week in the 80s and almost 90s before you know it. Even in the basin, we climb into the 80s next week. Chance for a slight chance for isolated thunderstorms on Saturday. Best chance for showers on Saturday will be in the Cascades with those lower snow levels for the Rogue Valley. Our biggest threat over the next few days is going to be Sunday morning where we are going to be seeing frost. Basically, if you woke up to frost yesterday morning, expect it or at least expect the threat of it again Sunday morning.